Well, hello everybody. I thought I'd do an update and a better quality sort of video. Um, I thought I'd do one on my new x X803 RS helmet, the Ultra Carbon in the hot lap design. Um, we'll go over the bike as well, um, but I'll go through the helmet showing you what sort of little mods I've done. So basically, it comes stock with the black visor and the clear visor, but you've got an extra high rise um, nose piece there that protects against you know fog and whatnot. But I've also added in, as you can see, a faint line there. I've also added in the um, the fog screen, which helps prevent any fog. And to be quite honest, uh, it's been great, best thing I've ever done. Uh, we'll just turn this around slightly. So it's full carbon helmet. Uh, it's got vents on the front which are designed so when you're actually riding on a slight angle they're not directly forward as you can see they're on a slight angle so uh, air doesn't go straight into your chin it just gradually goes through we've also got a top vent here which is fantastic uh, we've also got these uh, head vents which i love because they're just so quick to push down that's all i need None of this pushing to the side, so it opens up a vent and you can do both sides, one or whatever. So as you open those up, what happens is air goes through the top and then it goes inside your helmet, cooling your head. And then what happens is it comes out of the rear. There's also some shark fin style help, um, vents on the side there, as you can see. Now the rear of the helmet has a spoiler. And the changes I've done are basically, I've, I've done another video on this, so you'll see those in the dark, but I've put a LED red strip that goes all the way through and inside, uh, which is a 12 volt battery pack, which I'm trying to source a smaller one right at the moment, but currently have one which just gets stuck to the back and you put it on night time, it looks fantastic. Um, the helmet overall, I've had it for about a month, probably the best accessory purchase I've done for the bike. It's the best thing. It's unique, there's not many around, especially here in Australia. Um, absolutely love it. As you can see, the colors matches my, my toy. <laughs> Little mods that I've done are basically, they come with these extra vents on the side. So I've just basically stuck those on, as you can see there. Now, uh, the F4. The F4's been treating me well, fingers crossed. Um, I've had no issues with it. I've had a Ducati prior to this and the heat coming from the exhaust has been unbearable during the summer months especially. And I just couldn't ride it. So I went from a 899 and I've gone to a F4. Uh, obviously not a V-twin, so it's a lot quieter, but so much smoother. Power delivery is amazing. Um, it's not as wide as you would say. The Ducati was, it's quite, it's like a 250 really, so I'm becoming a better rider. Um, what I've added to this is the quad lock um, foam mount. So we've done it in a way where it doesn't actually touch the tank, doesn't actually affect the dampener. So it sits on there and that's fantastic. I'll do a more detailed extra um, extras that I've put on the bike over the last few months, how I've changed the wheel in the future videos. So as you can see, there she is. 